Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. This is a cool one. This is coming from my buddy Mike, aka Nap Sergeant. If you guys haven't checked out Nap Sergeant's uh, YouTube channel or Instagram, I highly suggest you check it out, especially if you like high end knives. The dude, he's just, he's playing on another level. You know what I'm saying? The dude has put some money away and just started buying some nice shit and now it's paying off uh anyway talking about nice shit i got my whole haptic on me today just got this in it's the new one the blue call it the channel haptic because it's got the little baby blue in it that has nothing to do with my channel fuck you i don't know it's got that mirrored edge i'm about to fuck up on this package I do have a cheap knife in my other pocket, which I could have pulled out, so that didn't happen, but hashtag use your shit. I just wanted to use it. I haven't used it yet. Uh, there we go. All right. So, Mike was sending me, I asked him if I could check out the Blaurock Blades. I don't know what it is. The VBR31 or something like that. And he said he sent that along with another knife so there's a surprise in here surprise motherfucker uh it's thursday here tomorrow's friday i got the knife meet up on saturday here's that other knife real steel rocot on loan from backpack b another channel you should check out pretty sweet knife um talking about nav sergeant he has a teespring if you want to go pick up a shirt with the finger guillotine design, or I think he has one with his channel name. I also have a uh, Teespring now for Got Detent stuff. If you want to check that out, it'll all be linked down there. Ooh, look at this. We got goodies. So we got NAF Sergeant swag, baby. Look at that. All different colors of the NAF Sergeant. Look at this. Look at this. Wow, he hooked it up. Thanks, dude. Awesome. These will be going into giveaways for sure, guys. Whenever I do a week. Oh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. All right, hang on. I think if... Oh, man, I'm excited. All right, so this is the Blaurock Blades pouch. This is a cool little pouch. So this guy is actually in Germany. He's a German, which uh, to me is important because I'm German. I was born there. I have family there. I go there. I uh, haven't been there in a few years, but I need to get back. Oh, COVID. Uh, big old pouch. And we have the BB, no, the BRB3 V2, I think. Uh, serial number 59, I think. M390, 63 HRC. Ooh, that's a good little uh, heat treat. Stone wash finish. Uh, titanium, uh, 6AL4V. Thunderstorm finish. It was made on September 26th. Oh, that's pretty new. 2021 by a dude named Blaurock. Ole Blaurock. His name's Ole? Huh, interesting. There you go. Blaurock Blades says Old Blaurock Knife Maker. Blaurock Blades at gmail.com. Yeah. He's got a dot com, not a uh, dot de, which is interesting. So that's that. And then it comes with this bead. So this bead here is how you can disassemble the knife. I love the design of the pivot on this knife because it looks like a bearing. I think that was very interesting. And uh, you have this bead so you can turn, I guess. I feel like, can you get enough grip on that to, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to be careful with that. And here she is. This is the Blaurock BRB3V2, baby. So you see what I'm talking about right there? It looks like a set of bearings. I love that. I don't know what it is about that. You could also say it looks like a six gun, but it's more than that. Uh, a 10 gun. Uh, very cool pivot design. Look at that shield over there. Very European to have a shield like that. I don't feel any detent lash. The detent is stronger than I expected it to be, which is good. Um, very cool finish. That thunderstorm finish on the scales. Look at that bitch. Micro milling. 
all around it. Very, very, very cool. I just said it three times. That's how cool it is. Very, very, very cool. Has a steel insert and an over travel stop, which is cool. Has a giant hole in the blade. Holy cow. And the holes go all the way around. That is so interesting. Smooth. Uh, it's dead nut centered. Yep, that tip is dead on dead nuts. Hard for you to see, maybe. There you go. The backspacer is interesting. It almost looks integral, but you can see the lines kind of. Very cool. Um, let's try it right-handed with the flipper tab. Okay, so the fl he I, I saw this in his review. The flipper will come around and then the front will get you. So you got to kind of flip it and get out of the way, which is, there you go. Get out of the way. Drops to your nail. Shaky shake. That's pretty good. Right-handed flick. All right, that's where it's at, I see. Definitely if you're right-handed, that feels excellent. Now, he did say it works left-handed, but... He has a medium sized hand. I have a large glove sized hand. Let's try the flipper first, left handed. Oh, can I be on the lock bar? Okay, go ahead and just flip it. Man, this thing's like, feels like I'm gonna cut myself. It's like dangerous. So you just pull back and fire it. All right, moment of truth. Let's give it a shot. Ow, fuck. All right, so I gotta ride it down here. There you go. So you gotta ride it like all the way down here. If you go any higher, I mean, I think I was up here right at this cutout right here. Yeah, you can't get it. So you have to be down by the relief cuts. You gotta try to be down here. It does work. Uh, ergonomics are interesting. Okay, yeah. Again, this is kind of made for a medium-sized hand right here because my hand just squeezes in there, but it's squeezing in. It doesn't feel great. I can choke up like this, and this is more comfortable, but I don't really like when there's like a big gap between my index and my, and my middle finger, and it just feels kind of weird, but definitely a really interesting design, a cool knife, got a great edge on it. Holy cow. You have that milling up on the blade, which is really sweet. You see that right there on the on the secondary bevel or primary, whatever you want to call it. Very cool hole design. I know Naf said he thinks it looks kind of like the Oz Machine Company Roosevelt. I don't see it, but um, I definitely could see how somebody could see it. That's dumb. Uh, I did see a cool like recurve sort of tantooey version of this blade that looked cool. I think ultimately for me, um, it's just a little too skinny overall, you know, for me to like really enjoy, but um, I am enjoying when I can flick it. It feels good. The detent feels solid on that. Um, I do wish the flipper was maybe designed a little differently, you know, so it didn't come back and get you like that so easily. If you could just flick it, it'd be awesome. Um, but that's the Blau Rock Blades. BRB3 V2 uh, and the bead and everything keep that together and then he said he threw in something else I need to so hey guys Siri was fucking being a little C and uh, she interrupted my video and I used the back camera because I can focus better I just like it and it cut me off so anyway the second knife that Naf Sergeant sent me sharp by design Tempest absolutely sexy beast look at this knife just a gorgeous gorgeous piece of art hand satin beautiful blade look at that it just goes hey i'm gonna drop shut okay sure like it, it stops for you and then it's like boom left-handed perfect no issues lock bar lock bar issue yep lock bar but you can easily get out of the way like any knife. Absolutely just a sexy, sexy knife. Very ergonomic. I was saying you can squeeze the handle and actually feel it bend. I don't know if that's... It, I'm guessing this is titanium, but you can feel it. It's really weird. It's interesting. Um, but it fits my hand extremely well. It's a big boy knife. I mean, it definitely is uh, at least three and a half, maybe four inches on this thing. 3.75-ish freaking huge 
knife. Cool thing is both these knives today that he sent me have these like six gun pivots or uh, bearing looking pivots. Look at that milling. God. Absolutely stunning. So glad he sent me this to check out. Um, I have never checked out the Tempest. The Mini Tempest is the one I think that they're producing now. And then the Apex is the one I pre-ordered. Um, absolutely just sexy. Yes, yeah, Siri had to fuck everything up. Um, hate her. Anyway, Dead Nut centered. Perfect. Uh, guys, go check out Naf Sergeant, please. Uh, hit up his channel. Hit up his Instagram. Give him some love for me. If you're not subscribed, go subscribe to the guy. If you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel too. But definitely check out Naf Sergeant. Mike is just a good dude with some awesome content. Love the guy. Thank you, Mike. I really appreciate this, man. He just threw in a sharp eye design Tempest. <laughs> I love it. Um, I love you all. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.